Hi everybody, it's Rita. Today I'm going to be doing a mini book haul for the month of September. I'm on a book buying ban. I haven't really done a book haul in a while, but I have accumulated a couple books, mainly from a subscription box, and a couple of my friends have given me some books from work, so I just wanted to show you what I have accumulated for the month of September. The first book that I have is Nixia, and this is by Scott Reindkin. I have no idea how to say it. I really hope I said it right. This is supposed to be a new YA sci-fi series. This is the first in the series, and from what I can gather, I didn't really delve too much into it because I don't like delving way too much into synopsis, but it is about a boy who ends up getting the opportunity for a great fortune, but to get that fortune, he is basically competing with 10 other people on a ship to go to this hidden planet called Eden, and they're supposed to mine Nixia, which is like the most popular mineral or substance and is very highly valued. When he gets there, he realizes that there are secrets that were hidden from him by the company that sent him over, and he can either try and win the fortune or he can make decisions that will not compromise his humanity. This book sounds really interesting, and I'm really excited for a new sci-fi series. There's not a whole lot of really good sci-fi books, I feel like, in YA. It's mostly fantasy and dystopian, so I'm really looking forward to reading this. If you guys know anything about this, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. The second book I have is Rebel Magisters, and this is by Shauna Swenson. This is the second book in the Rebel Mechanics series. These books are print-on-demand titles, so they're really hard to get a hold of, and I bought the hardcover of the first one, so I had to buy the hardcover of the second one, and I don't know how I'm going to get my hands on a hardcover of the third one, but hopefully I will like it enough to actually want to continue with this series. I've had a few friends read Realm Mechanics and they said they really enjoyed it and they really wanted to get their hands on the second one and so I just immediately knew I would probably enjoy it so I got the second one just in case I love the first one so much I wanted to continue with the second one. This book series sounds really interesting and the synopsis of it is basically we lost the Revolutionary War and Britain still runs the United States and there is a little bit of magic going on in here from what I understand so I'm really looking forward to be able to reading these. They sound really good. The third book that I got this month is Never Seduce a Scott, and this is by Maya Banks. I have a friend from work who's like a romance expert, and every once in a while she gives me um, recommendations based on new books that she has found that is just phenomenal. This isn't necessarily new, but this is a new one that she has found, and she said it was absolutely amazing. This is about a girl who is the daughter of a clan leader, and she has an accident and she becomes deaf. And in that time, they don't know that being deaf isn't like a huge issue, she just can't hear. And so they think that she's not able to have children, that she's not really able to function normally in society. Her clan is on the brink of a war with another, and to be able to prevent the war, they basically agree that she will marry the clan leader's son to be able to mend the, the fences and he's really upset because of the fact that he thinks that she's not able to bear children and so he's like why are you doing this to me and they end up getting together they end up getting married and they end up falling in love and it sounds like such a beautiful story and I'm really looking forward to it I'm not a huge romance person but with the plot line of this and actually sounds really interesting especially for those in the deaf community. I'm really looking forward to reading this one and I've heard it's a great read and very well written. And the last book that I have is a Watcher's Guide for Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I have been wanting to re-watch this series for so long and this just came in recently to work. This is an episode by episode guide to each one and so what I want to do is I want to re-watch the series and I want to be able to read the page on each episode before or after I watch the episode. And then I'm just going to go on through the entire thing like that. It's probably going to take me a really long time, but I'm really looking forward to this. It's got really good pictures and information on here that unless you do a lot of research, you really don't know about. And so I'm really wanting to rewatch it soon and get started on this. And I'm so excited that I have this. So those four books are the only books that I have acquired in the month of September. I'm doing really well since the last book haul that I did had like... 50 books? 40 books? It was ridiculous. So I'm going to try and keep going on my book buying ban, except for I am going to, to get the Harry Potter Illustrated Edition. I'm really excited for that one. If you guys have heard or read any of these books, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I am really excited to get into these books. I don't know when I will, except for the Buffy one. 
I'm going to try and do that soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you liked the video, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you soon in another one. Bye!